Hey, what is up guys? My name is Jitesh and in this video, I am gonna tell you that how the camera blurs out the non-focus object and gives a pleasant look to your eyes. So let's get straight into the video. So there are like many types of blur, uh, Gaussian blur, uh, square box blur, radial blur, motion blur and the focus blur. So in this video, we gonna talk about the two main types of blur. The first is focus blur and the second is a motion blur. So the first of is motion blur. What happens in motion blur is your object is moving fast or your camera is moving fast but the shutter speed of your camera is slow related to the speed of your object. So what happens uh, in this the camera captures the trials of the moving object. So many photographers use to portray this uh, uh, use this concept to portray like something which is in speed is body thing so this is all about motion blur and how can you uh, decrease the motion blur you can simply increase the shutter speed of your camera the second type of blur is focus blur and this is little bit more complicated so please don't skip the video and watch till end So the first component which is mainly responsible for the focus blur is aperture or we can say diaphragm. Diaphragm or aperture is simply a hole or the opening through which the light enters and the light receives by the camera sensors. The next comes in a play is f stop or f number. f number is simply the ratio of the focal length of the lens to the diameter of the entrance of the pupil. If we can, if we say in simple words, so f stop is uh, the number that your camera show when you change the aperture lens. So basically, the f number decides the size of your aperture, size of the opening through which the light enters. Here are the apertures with different sizes on your screen. A small opening such as f by 16 lets in less light but increases the depth of field of the image. Let's see what is depth of field. So here I am making camera which, which is not looking like a camera nevertheless leave it. So. In front of camera the first subject is a person and then the next is our mountains so the distance between the nearest which is uh, our person and the farthest object which is mountain is called a depth of field so the conclusion is the distance between the nearest and the farthest object is called DOF depth of field. So if you want to take a photo in like portrait mode for that take a look on screen. This is our camera. This is the same person in the first scene and this is child and this is another man out there and then our mountain come so we have to focus on our main person which is this for this the depth of focus should be small and only uh, occurs on this specific man due to which the camera blurs out other men so now take a look on this image of our Dorimon Beside this, there is a couple who looks blurry and in another pic, the same couples are like little uh, less blurry than the previous one. This is because of the difference in the size of the aperture. Take a look at this photo, you can understand much better from this. 
lenses which have large aperture are typically heavier, larger and more expensive than the lenses with, uh, which have a small aperture. I hope you like this video. Till then, take care.